Okay guys, in this video, I'm about to show y'all the secret how to stop pick and roll offense. Those are the people who have a hard time stopping pick and roll offense and you think this is annoying, all they do is run pick and rolls, I promise you, you're gonna make guys quit the game faster than you think, all right? So I'm gonna show y'all a secret. First, what you do is when you go online, make sure you go to defensive settings, right? So you go here, defensive settings, now I'm gonna show y'all a secret, right? I'm gonna show y'all a couple of clips how I'll be stopping pick and rolls and guys get frustrated, right? So the thing is, before I do that, make sure y'all follow me on Twitch. It's a link down in the description box. I live stream every week, so make sure you follow me there. All right, so now what you do is like on ball. Now, it's up to you. You wanna do smaller defense or you play tight. It's up to you, but if you guard guys like Kyrie Irving or Seth Curry, they, I mean Steph Curry, make sure you play smaller defense because you ever play tight on them at all times. Now, off ball, just put tight. Don't put the nine ball, unless it's Steph Curry or Kyrie Irving. So it's up to you, your decision. Now, you leave this auto, but if you go against Steph Curry, make sure you go over the screen so that you can stop the shooter, make him drive. So it's up to you. It depends what kind of player you're going up against. Now, if somebody like LeBron James, you go you go under because they, what, what they're going to do is, right, when they use screens LeBron James, you never see somebody use a screen and shoot off the screen with LeBron James. I do it, though, but most of people in the community, they're not going to do that. They use a screen and drive to the rim. So make sure you go under so you can um, stop that. Now, this is a secret. Stay attached. A lot of guys make mistakes on this one. Do not leave it automatic. Do not. It's going to mess you up on the screens on the switch, right? So what you do is you put yes. Make sure you put yes because I'm going to give you an example. You put Kawhi Leonard on Steph Curry. You say Steph Curry using the screen. Kawhi Leonard is going to chase him. They're not going to switch. They're not going to switch the screens like that. He's going to chase them. Now, it's up to you to guard the ball carrier or you use the center so that you can bait them to pass the ball so that you get intercepted passes. So it's up to you. You have to switch on pick and rolls that people will abuse it every time on every play. So make sure you put yes and make it harder for them. Trust me, it works. Do not put... I'm going to show you a secret. Do not put no because it's going to force a switch and it's going to cause mismatch. You know community is going to love to look for that. All right, so make sure you put no. Make sure you put yes all times. Now, there's another secret, right? To prevent this, when it says dry help rules, you put you put no help. And it says screen help, no help at all, right? Now, it's up to you to go to the sliders. Sometimes I go to the sliders, sometimes I don't. But it don't show the sliders in here. I don't know why. But when you go to the sliders, make sure you put zero help. Zero, all right, guys? So I'm gonna show you a couple of videos and the gameplays. And I'm gonna give y'all step by step how I be stopping it, all right? All right, in this situation, I already knew that my opponent gonna use pick and roll, could use pick and roll in every possession. Now, I'm controlling Kareem Drew Jabbar as a center, and you see Oscar Robinson guarding Kyrie Irving. Now, what you're gonna see here is that how he go over the screen to stop Kyrie Irving. Now, watch this. Okay, right now, I'm controlling the center because I already know he's gonna use the screen. Now, you see how Oscar Robinson, you see how he fight through the screens? He went he went over so he could stop Kyrie Irving. See, one thing about playing ranked match on my team is that you want to make it difficult for your opponent to score, not make it easy. So, a lot of people don't understand that. See, you see how he fight through the screens? You see how he's trying to dribble around Kyrie Irving? He have a hard time going around that. And I made him shoot a very late shot. That's what you want. All right, guys? All right, the next thing I'm about to show y'all is that I'm controlling the center, DeAndre Jordan. Now... I want y'all to pay a close attention to Matt Barnes. So you're gonna guard his player, right? Cause I already know he gonna get the ball to DeMar DeRozan to use a screen. Now watch this. Okay, I'm using the center. He's trying to dribble with the center. I don't know why he's trying to do that. So he's gonna pass it to DeMar DeRozan. Now watch, watch he use the screen. Stop right there. You see how Matt Barnes is guarding him? That's what you want from your player to do, to make it harder for opponents to score, you see? In that situation, you know for a fact that he wasn't trying to do that. He was trying to dunk the basketball, but that was a mistake there. And plus, I kind of bait him there. So that's why he took that difficult shot, and he shot it late. In this situation, I'm using 10 Holloway Jr. to stop Oscar Robson. This is the best point guard he's going up against. And 10 Holloway Jr. has no defense. Now, watch this clip right here. 
Y'all see Tim Holloway Jr. applying that pressure against Oscar Robson, not freeze. You see, he thought that, that he gonna get stuck on the screens, but he didn't, because he was gonna shoot off the screens. But guess what? He got chased down by the three-point line, and that forced Kareem Abdul-Jabbar a difficult shot. All right, this part right here, he about to use the screen with Trey Young. Now, you see me, I'm off born with Paul Zingas because he had Compeller at the three-point line. You know for a fact that Compeller has no three ball. A after this clip right here, I'm about to show y'all my last clip of the video, how to stop pick and roll. This, this part right here was so funny, all right? So don't miss it. Yeah. How does it feel, Jason Kidd? Let's go. Let me get that still. Nope. That's a stick. Nope. Uh huh. Clamps, baby. Clamps. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, he's trying to go straight up.